Hi, I'm Marlow from Wild Food UK. It's the 10th of July and I'm out foraging in Hereford. Now we've been picking some lovely mushrooms today, uh, some Boletus reticulatus and uh, there's been a couple of chanterelles around. Um, but the prettiest mushrooms I've seen today are down here and they are an edible species, so worth knowing about, but with a few little caveats as far as I'm concerned. Uh, this is the glistening ink cap, Coprinellus micaceus formerly known as the mica cap because of all of those little crystals that you can kind of see all over the top of the cap and they really do glisten in sunshine. Now um, they're not crystals, they're actually the remnants of the veil that used to be on top of the, the very baby, the very tiny baby glistening ink cap when it first popped through this, this log. Now this is where it grows, it grows on a uh, dying or dead hardwood um, or on the underground roots of an old dead hardwood tree uh, and they come up in quite vast quantities in certain places so in certain circumstances I will eat this mushroom. Um, it's an ink cap though so some of these ones under here have already started to deliquesce or these are old ones that have deliquesced or melted into ink which is a usable ink if you get enough of them. Um, at that stage I've never eaten them although I've uh, been told that the ink can be used to, to dye things that you're eating so it's like a, a vegan alternative to, to squid ink. Um, this is a mushroom that you'll see on stumps all over the country and in cities uh, but it is a mushroom that is known to be able to take in um, heavy metals like lead and things like that so if it's right beside a road it's not a mushroom that I'd advise you eating. Um, nutritionally it's got uh, high levels of potassium um, so if you're low in potassium then this mushroom is one uh, that might be useful for you uh, but while I've got my chanterelles and uh, my summer seps it's not a mushroom I'm going to be taking home today. Uh, they're quite small, the caps uh, will shrink when cooking um, and like I say the only reason or the only time that I'll collect these is, is if I'm in a nice green space and there's a lot of them. Um, this here is a, a lovely pretty little stand of our glistening ink caps so today I'm going to leave them where they are. If you want to find out more, go to www.wildfooduk.com.